Just remember that there's nothing to be worried about. Nobody's paying that close attention to you. Nobody cares what you're doing. Nobody cares what you're wearing. If anybody gives you a hard time, it's because they're dealing with their own shit. They don't actually care about you that much. They just are giving you a hard time because they're bored. It's 9.45. I need to leave at like 5 past. Heating up my straightener so I can like thingy my scarf. But while I do that, I'm literally going to speak to you guys. Um, and I'm going to try and do my makeup in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. That's all I got, girl. That's all I got. I wish I could like have you like front and center, but I ain't got the facilities for that. So it's actually been a really long time since I've actually spoke to you guys. Mainly because I've been so absent from YouTube, but... I don't know what it is but YouTube literally gives me anxiety like when I moved out I was like oh my god this is the perfect time for me to be like really consistent on YouTube and be happy with my videos and just stuff like that but then when I actually moved out I realized like I don't want to be showing my space that much and I remember my moving out video I literally said like guys I'm not doing like a home tour I'm not doing any of that because it's just not a bit of me and I was actually really excited because I I felt like I could finally have like the creative flair that I've always like wanted. But one thing about me, like if something is boring to me, I'm just gonna assume it's gonna be boring for everyone else. So I've literally been vlogging every single day, not every single day, every single week. How many videos have you actually seen? I think I've uploaded like three videos since I've moved and I moved in Feb. I'm kind of taking responsibility and like, you know what? Guys, I can actually do this. Like if I can upload four vlogs, in the whole of december then i've done myself well and it will help me continue obviously guys i was saying how like things look boring from my perspective but it's literally because someone told me was like oh you know what it's the fact that you lived oh let me get the door okay my delivery is going to come up soon and it's 50 past so i'm going to try and hurry up just a tiny bit by the way i'm should i wear foundation Okay, I'm not going to wear foundation. I've been doing like the no foundation thing recently and I really like it and I feel like it kind of saves some time as well. The lighting looks really dull, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, I think I'm going to do a tiny bit of foundation because guys, this foundation has been the best thing ever. I didn't even say what it was. It's the Pat McGrath um, Skin Fetish Sublime. I can't remember that exact name. It's the Pat McGrath yeah skin fetish sublime perfection foundation i'm gonna do maple just give me a little bit of brightness but yeah i need to finish off what i was saying so for me personally when i'm like obviously i'm recording and then i'm editing and with editing you like go over things like 12 times not 12 times but you get my point like you go over things so much so for me like i'm watching the vlogs and i'm like oh my god this is old news this is like boring now um like no one's gonna watch it kind of thing and i really need to get out of that like headspace and so personally for me i think i'm just gonna lead off like a new strategy i'm gonna try that for now and then see like where it takes me but yeah that was basically the gist of it and i'm going on holiday soon and the thing is i don't want to go on holiday and then just upload the fact that i'm on holiday because i realized i got into a habit of doing that i'm literally getting ready why do I keep dropping everything? I'm meeting Nia and Zozo, so I will take you guys. I mean, I don't know if they're comfortable with me vlogging, so. And I think I'm just gonna take my G7 next because I use that for pictures and I don't really wanna be carrying two cameras around, especially in London. Like, guys, if you know London, don't be carrying around expensive, expensive equipment and other stuff like that because you will get wrapped. Okay, we're on 56 and. I'm like two thirds of the way in. So I'm just gonna quicken it up because now I'm on powder. By the way, if any one of you are the same shade as me, I wear um shade Macau in um NARS. Uh, what other foundations do I use? If you use Pat McGrath, it's medium deep 26. Um but yeah, if you are like around that shade range, what powder what shade powder do you use in Huda Beauty? Because I use um what shade do I use? I use banana and it literally gives me the worst flashback ever and I used to use kanafa because I don't really like a bright under eye but it's like very yellow so yeah let me know what shade you guys use yeah I'm not having any breakfast either because I'm literally meeting for breakfast 
time I want it's okay it's 10 o'clock on the dot um let me just do mascara I think I might do my am I gonna do my lips on the tube I love a mascara moment I feel like mascara just makes everything feel so better so yeah I'm gonna do like lip color but then my lip combo is in my bag that I haven't packed yet I feel like my blush isn't enough but I don't really want to add any more okay now for the finale with that. 10.03 I'm gonna make my way the back of my head is none of my business so I'm not gonna like deal with that at na right now but yeah this is my look and I'm gonna find that it doesn't like focus well focus is really bad and then also there's sound control like say if you're on the beach yeah. like it's just <laughs> the video quality is not like crazy. it's just really nice for pictures yeah it's, lo it's lovely for pictures but everything else I've had this makeup on for like a good how long eight hours or something yeah, I've got ten minutes so I came back from my lunch with the girlies and I literally just sat down for like the rest of the time I think I came back at like three it's now eight I've literally just been chilling sitting and chilling like I've done absolutely nothing I haven't ate or anything I don't know what my thought process was but then like I just can't bother to cook I was gonna originally film me taking off my makeup because I really want to do like a Korean um, skincare routine because I have so many Korean products and I actually want to share them but not today today I'm not fussed at all so I'm going to just use my regular my regular degulus regular degulus the thing is guys I don't like doing my skincare with my scarf on which is annoying but anyway for the sake of the video this is what I'm going to use to wash my face this is really good after wearing makeup it just literally cleanses your face. Do you know what I'm talking about? You know when you say cleanser and you want it to cleanse, this is literally it. I've got five minutes till my food comes. I'm excited to eat. I really wanted Wingstop. Guys, if you know my obsession with the Wingstop, it actually is so bad. But for some reason, Wingstop was not doing deliveries. And I was like, why? why why would you disappoint me like that i just had to take the l and i ordered from this um burger spot that i've had before and i don't remember if i liked it or not because i think if i liked it i would have ordered it again we're gonna get a pair these pads are massive because it's literally half my hand but when i went to primark because i get all my pads from primark when i went there there wasn't any other smaller ones so we're just gonna have to stick with this Oh, my food is here. Okay, I'm gonna go collect my food. I'm glad there's no like wrapping in this or like brandy. I've got my burger and I've got buffalo fries. Yeah. And then let's see if they put cheese on the burger because I said no cheese. There's cheese on the burger. There's cheese on the burger. This is the burger. And I asked for no cheese because I don't like cheese. This is why I should just stick to one stop. Hopefully the flavours of the rest of the burger will diminish the cheese. This wasn't worth it. I can't lie. This was not worth it. 
guys next time i order food just make sure to comment that there's rice at home because well and truly there's always rice at home i need a new k-drama to watch and i'm thinking of watching a good day to be a dog because why do i want to watch it i want to watch it because i like the actor and the actress that's my honest opinion i feel like for me i will only like a drama if i think the actress and the actor are good looking and they have chemistry i'm gonna watch that i'm gonna finish my food and i'll probably see you guys tomorrow hello guys welcome to my sunday reset so the thing is okay i don't know how the sound quality is going to be because i took off the little mic um let's just hope it's fine but we are gonna do a sunday reset um i'm gonna test the camera quality because i've been trying to figure out my settings and i'm just gonna see how that goes but today i'm doing a sunday reset saw my house right now i don't even want to show i feel like you can see like the little pile there that's literally the pile of clothes that i'm going to put on depop and vintage or wherever but i just need to clean my house heavily and i need to get some groceries because if you guys saw if you guys saw my fridge let me actually show you i'm going to show you guys are you hungry are you ready for nothing there's literally nothing in my fridge nothing at all and yeah, not even an egg. To do a grocery shop, but I don't think I don't know, guys. It's very, it's cold. It's raining here and there. Like, I just don't want to go outside. So I think I might just order my groceries in. So I'm gonna clean. You can already see the filth here. I took out all my makeup brushes because I was literally going to start cleaning them. Because I was like, I want to start next week on like a fresh makeup brush clean makeup brush i don't know what else to call it but i just want to start next week like really clean so i'm gonna clean everything Okay, all this needs to be gone, so let's just ta da! Sink is empty. Um, I'm gonna let these dry for like an hour or something, and then I'm gonna like put them away. Okay, usually I would do like a deep clean and take out like so much stuff, um, but I already did that like a couple of days ago and yeah my fridge is clean it just is really empty now so one now because it's not even fizzy guys what the hell this isn't even fizzy i bought these because i make um mocktails <coughs> anyway i make mocktails throughout the week and then i usually put like passion fruit but i run out of passion fruit and i don't think it's the season to be buying like whole passion fruits so i got these and I'm gonna see how that goes. 
fridge is stocked up and full. I feel like this is so inner, like why can you see inside my fridge? ready and I'm watching crash landing on you whoever said winter is like crash landing on you re-watching season nailed it because tell me why I've literally been like can you crave like watching a tv show because that's what I've been craving but anyway I'm on like episode six I think I'll probably finish this by the end of the week 